I bought an old private ambulance with the aim of converting it into a camper van. It has taken months to strip it back to an empty shell, add insulation, build a bed, the seats and the kitchen. And now we are working on the panels and the roof. Sit back and enjoy. It did break, okay. Hello everyone, my name is Samuel Main and welcome to The Main Adventure. We are on video number eight of renovating an old ambulance and turning it into a camper van. Enjoy the video and if you do, please do hit like and subscribe. It massively helps the channel. See you in the next one. Welcome back everyone to the main adventure and here video number eight we are starting to design the interior so as you can see I decided to paint the seats white I wanted just a clean look and uh, although this doesn't look uh, an amazing job that you can see right now it's good enough and that's uh, what we need for this van. So I ended up doing uh, at least, I think, three coats for both of these seats, which ended up working out really well. I, I uh, Obviously, I spray painted the panels and then just painted the seats, but they've turned out really well. So I'm actually really happy with those. I also painted underneath the bed as well, which you can see here. That's panels on the right and left, and also the seats there. Again, I just wanted some consistency, but I also just wanted it to look clean and fresh. So pretty happy with how this turned out. And it definitely just adds a little bit of lighting, really keeps the area nice and bright. So really happy with how the seats have turned out. And you can really start to see the shape of the van now, which I'm really happy about. Here, I'd gone and bought a mattress, albeit the mattress is probably bigger than what I needed. But this is a small double, uh, which just about fits into the bed. The bed was 120 centimeters by 180 centimeters. And the mattress we got is 120 by 190. So it just about squeezes in. But there you can see I am starting to paint some of the other panels. These are just all the extras that are going to get bolted onto the doors and some of the framing. And we've got the overhead storage. This is one of the reasons that I actually kind of bought the van, really. It was uh, just something I knew was going to help us in the build out. So I had to take the glass off and the hinges off first. And then I decided to spray paint these. Uh, they needed some primer and then just a couple of layers of spray paint, but these ended up turning out really, really well. I was able to reapply those rims that you can see to each of the panels. <laughs> that was a 10 second clip, but it took me a very, very long time and it was an extremely frustrating to, uh, to get those done. But again, nice little touches that just make it look that little bit better. So pretty happy with that back in the trusty garage to get some more spray painting done. You can see we had a little bit of a leak again with this roof that's been endless problems but I believe we have now solved that and we decided to start working on the ceiling panel that you've got there. So took this down you can see it's one big sheet um, and we were looking to apply some carpet to it ultimately. So here we bought uh, some perspex that we were aiming to fill some of these holes so that we didn't have a big sag in the ceiling. And we were just obeying kind of the best way to cut it. We started off with a razor blade, but quite quickly changed then to the jigsaw. And this is here is, it's a shame actually there's no audio for this, but the 
the patience that Ryan has had with me has been incredible. You know, I've got zero experience, not used hardly any power tools, and he showed me what to do. He helped me out here, and this is ultimately for me, like the reason I bought this camper van was to learn some of this stuff, to practice these new skills, and do things that I've never done before. And this is Ryan quite literally breaking that down for me and helping me out. So I, I can't express my gratitude enough to Ryan as a friend and for someone that's been, you know, uh, just a massive, massive part of this camper van. And here we got Ryan and Ben. Ben came over to help us out as well. They are working on getting some of these panels back onto the doors. We actually ended up uh, running out of the riv nuts. Um, so we've had to buy a few more of those, but it's starting to take place. And I'm really happy about the, uh, the progress that we have made here again you can see an insight into the electrics which is a mammoth mammoth task i've already started ripping out a lot of the cabling for the electrics but that's going to be a weekend in itself just to get those completed and where we need them to be this is me and Ryan starting to work on the ceiling so this is i just got some super stretch uh, carpet i think it is and we are using some carpet adhesive and sticking this down. We this was an end of roll, so we uh, we pretty much just about kind of had enough. It should do the trick, but we had to get a little uh, creative towards the end, as you can see there. Uh, but that glue goes absolutely everywhere. Um, this was at the end of the day. You can see it's uh, you know it's dark. It's a Sunday night, and we were just trying to get this done. Um, and I suppose that's the uh, the joys of working on this camper van is you've got to uh, make it happen when you can. This is me and Ryan putting the, uh, the ceiling back up, just the two of us, which was a good challenge. We did cut in a few little holes for these little lights that I have. That will come up in the next video. Van looks a little bit of a mess there, but you can see it really starting to come together. We've got the white panels the black carpet for the ceiling, and we've got the flooring going in in the next video as well. So it's really starting to take shape. Uh, we're on that kind of kind of uh, home straight, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little update. If you have been enjoying this series, then please do hit like, hit subscribe. It really does motivate me and help build the channel. I cannot wait for that first road trip in this van. I'll see you guys soon.